do? Oh, fine. Little problem with little toe. Oh, well, I'm sure the doctors can fix it. Fell off this morning. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, how is your family? Your husband is well? Mm -hmm. With other wives this week. How nice for you. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Do you happen to smell something? A toad? My feet. I beg your pardon? My feet. They stink real bad, huh? Oh, no, no. Oh, not too awfully. <laughs> I would wash them, but my husband, he's crazy for the smell, loves to eat watermelon seeds from between my toes. <laughs> Almonds, too. Even dirt. Oh. Well, I love your shoes. <laughs> Size three? Three inches? What size your waist? Sixteen. I got my first corset quite young. Hmm. How young? Fourteen. Hmm. I was five. Of course, I hurt back, huh? Oh, no, no. Only when I breathe. <laughs> <laughs> my feet, only the first couple of years. Really? Yes. My mother used to. Oh, where is she? Oh, she dead. Long time now. Oh, how nice for her. Dead. <laughs> mother said to me, forgiveness from heaven. Today is lucky day by the moon. Today we start finding. Huh. Then mother takes bandage, place on inside of instep. They carry over small toes to bend them in and towards the sole. Then bandage is wrapped around heel, nice and forcefully. So heel and toe are drawn close, real close together. Huh? I see. Why? Huh. Make feet pretty for future husbands. Of course. That night I ran off into the forest. My feet were on fire. But mother found me. She forced me to walk. She was a good girl. She never so your poor feet never grew? Feet got smaller. Soon the flesh became putrescent and little pieces slopped off from the sole as my toes began to putrefy. Mm -hmm. And when I ate salted fish, my feet would swell and pus would drip. Mother would remove my bindings, lance open my corns with a needle and wipe the pus, blood, and dead flesh. <laughs> Every two weeks I would change shoes, each pair one quarter inch smaller. And after two years, my feet were practically dead. So no more pain. Finally, all the bones were broken, and four toes were bent in a nice, neat row towards planter. And when I was nine, father betrothed me to my husband. Well, I, I love your shoes. What are you being treated for? Uh, me? Hysteria. Hmm. Hysteria? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's disease of the ovaries. Heard that one. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You see, the ovaries control the personality. I've done quite a lot of reading on the matter. Mm. And then my husband says that reading makes me worse. My husband's a doctor. Hmm. Lucky he has treated you. Well, he prescribed the rest cure. Nice and peaceful. Oh, yes, very. Six weeks lying on one's back in a dimly lit room. No reading. No visitors, no potty, yeah. or could. I came out screaming, actually, but it was hardly my husband's fault. You see, apparently, I'm too well educated, and my uterus atrophies commensurately. Yeah. Glad I never went to school. Oh, you're lucky. When I was a little girl, my husband loved my little feet so much, I never left the bedroom. Well, children need rest. Yeah. Men crazy for the golden lotus. Feel much love and pity for our suffering. The tiny steps, the whispered walk. Also, foot binding makes buttons larger, more attractive. Well, I assure you, it's a lot less fuss to wear bustle. Oh, what you know about bustle? Bustle not natural. Binding makes the vagina tighter. When I walk, whole lower body is in state of tension. So my vagina, tight like little fist. <laughs> Realize that erotic tendencies are the number one symptom of ovarian disease. Do you mean erotic tendency is a symptom of disease? Obviously, you do not keep abreast to modern science. What does husband insist on erotic tendency? Well, that's not your tendency, dear, that's your duty. And maybe not even mention me. The vice. The vice? It leads to lesions, TB, dementia. I shut my children's hands down every night and make sure they are clean because hysterectomies and causations can be quite costly. Which one of your ladies was here first? She was! You don't have to be ready to kill
This is from heaven. Some women even insist on stimulation from gynecological instruments, mm -mm. insisting the, uh, mm -mm. the sexual examination. No. You just wait a minute, Mrs. Smoot. I'm only here for one thing. I just want to have my toe put back on. Well, I am just here to see about removing my ovaries. <laughs> reading and writing, stop stimulating my emotions through operas and French plays. Last week, the doctors placed leeches on my valva. One of them was actually quite adventurous, made it all the way up to my cervical cavity. My corset is pushing my ovaries out through my vagina, and according to my husband, my symptoms are only getting worse. I've got all the classic symptoms of the varicum disease. Troublesomeness, eating like a plowman, painful menstruation, a desire to learn Greek, attempted suicide, persecution mania, and civil cussedness. 